Welcome to another Healthy Indoors Minute coming to you from my crawl space. As part of the finish of our forever home, I want to make sure that all the chemicals that are in the home are things that I have predicted and uh, hopefully not the ones that I have prevented from being in here. So we're going to do a couple of tests with our friends at Prism Analytical. You can get what's called a home air check sent to you anywhere and um, homeowners can do this test themselves. You can also, if you're a professional and you're not offering this, you should be, uh, because this is pretty cool stuff that you cannot do in the field. So what we're gonna do is test with these little pumps uh, for formaldehyde and for um, VOCs in general. And total VOCs is just a number that some monitors give you. What this is gonna give you is each and every VOC. They're gonna actually break them down into individual chemical components of what is in the air. We're also gonna do a new test that they've started offering, which is a dust sample. I'm interested in what is in the dust down here on the crawl space floor. I did not seal this crawl space floor because I am an idiot about home building and I didn't know that that was something that I should really, really do before I started putting all this stuff into the crawl space. So all you have to do with this tape is uh, first of all, I'm gonna keep records on the chain of custody form because this is all highly scientific and you're only, your data is only gonna be good as the actual accuracy of what you're telling the lab that you're testing for. So you peel off this little uh, tape strip and then I'm gonna press this tape right here down into some of the dust. I'm gonna gently press this in, not too hard so I don't break the slide. And now I have a sample of some nastiness from my floor. I'm going to take another dust sample from upstairs in the living space underneath a piece of furniture that hasn't been moved in a while and that we haven't vacuumed just to see if there's any difference there. I am also going to go ahead and test the crawl space at my parents' home, which is next door, which is a 1950s ranch. And you might have seen that playlist on our YouTube channel as well. And I will also then test inside of that older home underneath a piece of furniture. You can do this to find out if there is pet dander, things like that. They also have a vacuum test that we're running on some used rugs that we got just to see if there's, they have like five classes of common allergens. But honestly, if you tell them you're looking for something specific, they can find out if it is in there. Now the specialized test that I really want to run right now that I'm pretty sure I've never heard of anybody doing is I want to know how hard this Fantech ERV is working. I am going to plant this test kit inside of the ERV because here is the outgoing stream of air that's the exhaust. And this exhaust is coming from all the bathrooms in the house, which run 24 hours a day. We don't turn on exhaust fans in bathrooms in this house. They're just on all the time. You can, don't have to do anything. And also from my cat litter box, which is why we can put the cat litter box in the front hallway so that you walk by it if you come to visit us and you will not smell it because this is sucking those gases out. So I want to know how much of a, an effect this ERV is really having for the benefit of my family's health. Just like we always do. And if you've seen this series before, you snap the thing open, pull out your vial, arrow shows you it's going to get pulled down into the pump. Now I can turn this back on. The filter, by the way, on this outgoing stream of air is a like a MERV 6, and it's only really for protecting the heat exchanger core in here. And so we're not too worried about that taking any of the any of anything out of the air that this thing is going to be able to sample. So it'll probably pick up a little bit of particles. I don't think that uh, that's necessarily part of the prism test, but again, we're going to meet with Dr. Alice Delia to find out what the analysis on all this stuff shows. We're going to leave this in here for two hours minimum, four hours maximum, and we're going to come back to you next month with the follow-up from Dr. Alice Delia about this. All of this analysis, the dust, the vacuum sample, and the chemical test that we're doing inside this ERV right now are going to hopefully show us that the ventilation systems, the air tightness that we've built into this house are all doing a lot. And by the way, I, we just uh, counted up all the filters in this house and there are 13 filters that need to be inspected and 
either washed or changed on a regular basis. So anyway, you want to kind of think about this stuff as a system. Always, always, we're talking about the systems thinking on this channel. And obviously, the testing is very important. I can feel like this house is healthy, but having the actual scientific data that shows me that really makes me feel better. And hopefully, it's going to give you the proof that you need as well. Thanks very much for watching. Please do make sure that you subscribe to Healthy Indoors Magazine. You can join that global community that we've got going on over there as well. That's healthyindoors.com. Like, subscribe, comment. Tune in next time.